Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Paris in 85. I'm Whitney, and today I'm getting started with my very first get ready with me chit chat makeup tutorial for the holidays and a quick a quick updo for those last minute people who just want something quick before they head out to their holiday party. So let's get started. Say hi. Say testing, testing, one, two. Yeah. Say good morning. Look, look. Good morning. Okay, I'm going to start off by doing my eyes first and then I'm going to apply my face. So I'm going to apply, I have some Fenty products. I just want to show you guys what I have. But I'm not using all these in the video. I'm going to use um, suede for the base for my eyelids before putting on the eyeshadows. Initially, I did not like this concealer for under the eye. <clears throat> uh, I wasn't used to the consistency. It's a cream to powder concealer, but it's grown on me and I love it now for maybe like everyday look. I usually use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer for under my eyes. I may use it today, I'm not quite sure. I did forget to do my eyebrows first, so I'm going to do that first and then go into the... Um, eyeshadows I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color chocolate this is my second time buying this product I initially bought a deeper like a darker color I forget which color it was and I'm also going to use my makeup forever aqua brow everything I'm using in the video will be in the description box down below First, I'm going to go in with the brow wiz. I usually just use this product, each of these products on their own. I'm going to use my MAC brush, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the number of the brush, as you can see. The paint has come off, but it's a tapered brush, and I'm going to squeeze some of this product out. I put some of the product on this top a sample of foundation I, I got from Sephora. What do you guys have planned for the holidays? I usually see my in-laws in my side of the family, but my mother-in-law went down south, can you guys see me, to see her parents. And I'm going to, no lie, miss her cooking. My mom has kind of slowed down on the cooking. To my family is not that big. Most of my family is down south. My grandparents are from the south. Both my parental parents and my parental grandparents and my maternal grandparents are from down south. My mother's parents are from Mississippi and so is my husband's grandparents are from Mississippi. So when we met, I had to make sure we weren't related because we had deep roots in Mississippi and Memphis, Tennessee. Like His mother is from Memphis, Tennessee and his grandparents are from Mississippi. And like most Michigan, black folks in Michigan, um, our roots are from the South because a lot of us a lot of our grandparents came up here for the auto industry, for the big three, to work for the big three. So my question to you guys is, what are you doing for the holidays? I'm just hanging out with my side of the family this year because my mother-in-law went down south. And where are your grandparents from? Where did your family migrate from? My family migrated from the south like so many other black people but exactly where did your grandparents migrate from I have Mississippi Arkansas and Alabama Alabama and Arkansas from my father's I think my father's parents are from my father's mother is from Arkansas and I think his 
dad is from Alabama and both my mother's parents are from Mississippi yeah I like the I like the makeup forever aqua brow and I bought this product when I got married in the Caribbean about three years ago because I did not want my eyebrows to move a lot of the products that I bought I did my own makeup for my wedding a lot of products that I bought was to make sure that my makeup did not move because I am very oily in my t-zone looks good I'm barely I'm very oily in my t-zone and I sweat so I got you know my makeup forever my makeup forever ever matte poreless primer perfecter I'm going to be using that before I put my foundation on let me finish these eyebrows first because it's taking forever while I'm talking I'm going to add concealer underneath there, underneath my eyebrows. I'm going to use the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. And I like to use the back of the top, the top of the top, and squeeze a little bit on there because I don't use a lot. And that's probably too much. I'm going to use an e.l.f. pencil. I mean an elf brush. I don't know the name. I need some new brushes. I see a lot of girls use Morphe brushes. I in makeup I start off using MAC. My mother, I grew up watching my mother do makeup all the time, makeup and hair. Doing her own makeup and doing other people's hair and her 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 hair as well. And I learned a lot by watching her do makeup. So when I got into high school, and I went to prom, I needed some makeup. At first, we all, I started off with, um, my mother had me start off with, um, dang, is it Fashion Fair? I forget, it's an old school brand for black women. I think it's Fashion Fair. Let me, let me know um, down below if you guys know what I'm talking about. Fashion Fair makeup. And then when I got into high school and I was going to prom, I wanted something more, you know, what everyone else was using. And that was MAC. So I started off getting like a Old Baby and Chestnut, which is very popular. So with this um, concealer, you have to hurry up and blend it in before it dries because it, it sets really fast. So I'm just cleaning up underneath the eyebrow. So yeah, I started off with MAC. And before, you know, I discovered YouTube through a friend, I didn't know any other brands. Not, not a big makeup person. Well, I wasn't. I have a lot of makeup and I don't use it. I only use it when I'm going out somewhere special. And I'll show you guys some of the makeup I have. So a lot of products I'm using right now is new. Some of the products. I'll show you. I'll tell you guys which ones is new and which ones are old. So this MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer is new. Not new, but it's, I used it's No, it's old. <laughs> this I bought this concealer when I got married three years ago and I bought a lot of makeup when I got married before I got married before I left before I left and the Anastasia Beverly Hills is just a redo my second pencil I'm used to getting the max pencil I think it's in spike so even my eyebrows are done now I'm going to, now this is new, this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I got a little small container and I got also the same brand in the medium deep, bigger container. 
I'm going to set, I've seen girls on YouTube do this and I learned a lot through YouTube as well. So a lot of my products are MAC and the majority of the products that you see that's not from MAC is pretty new. So I'm going to take a sponge, dot that in there, and set my concealer. It's too much on this side. So I went to Walmart and bought these sponges. That's new. So last couple months I went around and bought some new things. And this brush here is new. It's a kabuki brush. I guess it's, I guess you call it a kabuki brush from Elf. I got that from Target. So I have I had individual shadows from MAC over the years and it was just a mess. Not a mess, but I had like a I have a travel makeup um, box. But as I started going to the Mac store, I realized they had pans, you know, without the the compact. So I purchased this. Now I took out these. These go inside. So what I did was I found a YouTube video where you can remove the pans, the shadow pans, out of the um, the container and go to Michaels, your local Michaels or whatever, your craft store, and purchase magnets and you can just set them in here inside these containers and put it inside the book so that's what i did so a lot of these shadows are shadows i collected over the years and they're all mac and i did not yeah you know, I, I have no shadows i have no shadows besides the mac shadows and i'm looking online and youtube and i'm seeing that there's so many shadows that you can get that has that have better pigment payoff better pigmentation I want to go grab those palettes but I have to use these shadows first look at this one I barely even touched this I have all these colors and don't wear them so I need to wear the makeup more often so first I'm going to start off with my MAC brush 224 and I'm going to use red brick as my transition I'm going and I'm going to swirl that around put that in my crease above my crease Next, I'm going to use Foley, which um, is a dark, deep, burgundy color right here. And I'm going to use a more dense brush. It's a 217 by MAC. And I'm going to put that right slightly above the crease. I'm going back with the fluffy brush, the fluffier brush with the red brick. The red brick color. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm happy I'm able to do this video. This is probably the third time I'm filming um a video a makeup video a holiday video this holiday video because I I'm trying to get over my perfectionist ways and just realize that I am no makeup guru guru and it comes with practice I have all this makeup doesn't it doesn't mean that I 
you know, perfect at applying makeup. So I am no professional, but I love, I love makeup. I just don't wear it as often as I would want to. So next I'm going to use Sketch. Sketch is a, a deep purple color. I'm going to use that on my lid. I'm going to do a um, halo look. This is my second time doing a halo look and I really love how it looks. So I'm going to use this deep purple. And I'm going to use my Max 230 brush. It's a flat, flat brush. So if you guys did not know, I'm just taking that. If you guys did not know, I recently resigned from my job as an engineer, a civil engineer. I'm taking this brush and I'm going to pat it on the inner and outer corners of my eyelid. I recently resigned from my job. You can see that video of, you know, when I resigned from my job on my blog channel is Paris INA5 Living. I will link that in the description box and in the information above. I recently resigned from my job and we're not getting too too far into why I recently designed resigned from my job. Well, the reason was I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with my job and I wasn't happy for a long time. And, you know, in America, <laughs> we have this thing where, you know, we have to go into the best positions and make money. We want to, we want to make money. We go in, into these positions to make money and there's a lot of people who are not happy with their jobs because they want to make money. Nothing wrong with making money, but I want to go to work and feel passionate about what I'm doing and not just working for the dollar. And it, it's like I was wasting my years, my, my wasting years of my life doing something that I was not pleased with doing. Growing up, I was good at math and science. Was my Math and science were my two favorite subjects in school. And I pretty much excelled in all my, um, I'm trying to get a good shape here. I excelled in all my classes. I was an honor roll student, National Honor Society. But I went into a major that my, I'm not blaming my mother, but, not but, I'm not blaming my mother. She did her best with raising three children on her own I was a girl who just did what her mother told her to do and I went to a major and I wasn't happy but I have a tendency to finish things that I start which is a good attribute to have a good characteristic to have I went into something and I finished it and I Thought I would be happy once I started working, and I wasn't. But anyway, go check out that video why I resigned. I resigned back in August of this year. And I had some fears about doing that because I just had a baby, my first child. I'm going back with the fluffier brush to blend that out, blend out the edges. Well, I'm going back in with the 217 to blend out the edges. So yeah, um, I had a baby, had my baby back last year, aug last year, October, and I resigned this year, August. And I knew that, you know, I prayed about it. I knew that I was coming out of that position soon and I was anticipating it. But when the time came, I was kind of scared, but you know, I have so much peace about it right now well I've been enjoying um, having more time with my child I was feeling slightly guilty that my mother-in-law was having more time with him than I was I was working for 
10, so I'm going to work starting at 7, ending, at, ending the shift at 5.30, getting my child, you know, going home, and then you look up at 7 o'clock, he's ready to go to sleep. I didn't have much time to play with him and, like, experience some daytime with him. So I was feeling, you know, kind of guilty. There's nothing wrong with working, but for me, I wanted to be home more often with my baby. So I'm, ho I'm home, I'm home, and I'm enjoying him. I've been working on a book, and I wanna, I don't want to go into too much detail. I don't want to go into detail at all um, right now about what I'm writing. And I will update you guys, and I probably will put it mainly on my vlog channel. Well, I will go into some detail. It's about um, God revealing his purpose for me, seeking God on his purpose for me, and basically um, spiritual warfare in that three-year transition that I've been going through. So speaking of transitioning, my husband and I, I don't know if you guys can see in the background. I really don't want you to see the background, but it is what it is. I'm, we're... we're packing and we're moving we're moving out of state and we're moving soon very soon so i'm excited for moving i always had a desire to move and it's funny the bible says that god gives you the, the desires of your heart and it's amazing you know growing up I always had a desire to move but as an adult you know, I'm, I'm seeking God on what he wants for my life and he's telling me to move and it's, it's like, wow. And, and a lot of other things, you know, he's been revealing to me or giving me confirmation. I'm like, wow, I already had those desires years ago. So I'm going to use that Max Pro Longwear again. I'm going to, I think I need to blend it out a little bit more. My mother... Make sure your makeup is blended. Blend your makeup. Okay, I'm going to go with the MAC Pro Longwear once again and put that on the center of my eyelid before applying my next shadow. I'm going to use MAC's one 94 to apply that I'm going to use my Mac the same brush I used to apply the inner and outer corners I'm going to go in and use wood wink this is wood wink wood wink and I'm going to apply I think I'm going to apply amber lights on top so yeah I'm moving out of state and I'm looking forward to my husband and I starting a business and I, I would like multiple businesses and I'm going back to school so we have a lot going on I'm going back to school for psychology once we get settled to where we are going so that's just a maybe that's just a summary <laughs> that's just a summary of what's going on right now since August enjoying my baby spending time with him and my husband packing up and to move looking and um, registering for classes and moving so there's a lot going on right now and I do feel like that we should have been gone. You know, I don't want to miss God. So we're stepping out on faith. And just doing what he's calling us to do. I do believe we should have been gone. And it's, 
I wanted to leave before it started snowing here in Michigan. I'm, I'm in the Metro Detroit area. I wanted to be gone by then, but, you know, I just asked God to have mercy on me. And so I'm putting the amber lights on top. Yeah, all you got to do is ask, ask God for forgiveness and, you know, he'll forgive you. He will forgive you and um, give you mercy and grace to move on. So I'm looking forward to this season of new that we're entering in. So I have that on top. And this is a holiday, you know, Christmas party, New Year's Eve party get together going on here on my eyes it's kind of heavy i did film another look that was more like of your light glam but like i said i didn't i didn't like the lighting i'm sitting here in front of my window in my living room so i'm taking the, a brush and i'm blending out on the sides so it's a nice transition Yeah, I didn't like the lighting in my, the lighting in my bathroom is cool for, you know, my hair tutorials that I post, my hair videos. But when it comes to makeup, I see why these makeup YouTubers, makeup guru gurus on YouTube have such, you know, great lighting. Ring light, box light. So, I think that's, I think that's good. For my second time, that yeah, that video I did in the bathroom, the the more everyday light holiday glam was of more of a natural, a natural um, halo look, but I didn't post it. Now I'm going to take <clears throat> all that glitters. All that glitters is here. So you can see the pans that I use a lot. Let me show you the back of this. So I have labels on there from the back of the the shadow pans that I threw away. Or I, I actually took it to MAC for re, their recycling program and got some lipstick. So once you take your makeup out of the pans and put them in these books, you can take the, the containers to MAC, the smaller version of this to Mac and they'll give you you know free lipstick you have six containers or more and so the ones without the labels are the new shadows the newer shadows so I'm going to take all that glitters and use my Mac 219 SE brush so taking all that glitters I'm going to put that in the inner corners of my eye. So what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah. If you feel like... If you feel like... You missed your opportunity. God was telling you to do something. You didn't do it. Just ask God for forgiveness. You know. Jesus didn't come in vain to die for our sins you can ask God for forgiveness and he the Bible says that he throws our sins into the sea of unforgetful the sea of forgetfulness he literally forgives us and he forgets that's something that as humans we have to work on when we forgive people people say oh forgive but I would never forget no like when you remember you know, you still have, you know, that icky feeling in your, in your, in your heart. You got to ask God to help you, you know, forget too. So it won't have any effect on you. So I want to learn God's ways. I want God to teach me his ways. How do you forget like that? So, yeah. Anyway, ask God to forgive you and he will redeem time for you. He will speed up time. He will not speed up time in the aspect that you know fast forward but yeah it, it will seem like things would just come in like a, like wow god has me where i need to be 
And yes, I made mistakes. Yes, I feel like I missed God in this season or this time, this period in life. But God forgive me and make everything right. So that's what I'm believing God for. That as we're transitioning, I did feel like I did feel like that I missed God several times. But He's teaching me and He has mercy on me. So next, I'm going to do my face. So I have the Mac. The Becca, I'm sorry. I have the Becca Ever Met Primer, Poreless, per Priming Perfector. I have these things. I don't know the names. I don't use it as often. Or I just grab it and put it on. So I'm going to put that into my, mainly in my T-zones and kind of blend it out. So a new product that I purchased is the Smashbox color correcting stick. It's an orange stick. So if you're dark skin like me, you have dark you have dark patches on your face, this orange it it color corrects. It neutralizes those orange spots. So I have hypopigmentation around my my jaw area and I have some some dark marks on my face from where I broke out so I'm just going to cover those up and I have these marks from my glasses and underneath my eyes some hereditary things going on here and from rubbing my eyes too much so I'm going to neutralize those I'm going to take my new, this is a new brush, it's from Real Techniques, I got it from Target, and I'm going to blend that out. You know what, I'm going to use my fingers. Okay, so, um, like I said, I bought some new um, face products, some new makeup. I have some Fenty products you already saw in the beginning, my matchsticks. I have the Matchstick Trio, I have Riddick, and I have Chili Mango. I love those. I haven't used Riddick yet. I have some Fenty Beauty Kilowatt and Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I bought that recently. I have a few of her Galaxy lip glosses and lipsticks. I love how the foundation finishes. I love the finish on the foundation, but it's too orange. It's too orange on me, so I'm hoping. I think I read that she is going to make some more shades. You already have 40. Could she make any more? 60 would be great. I mean, just make some more, please. I, I want to support her, and I want... I love the finish of the of the foundation. So as a lot of us, I have a lot of foundation samples. I have Lancome. It's a Tinte Idol. Tinte, I, yeah, Tint Idol. I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. I have it in 520. And I'm going to apply that on my face. So I have it in the container here. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush and stipple that out. Yeah, I think that looks good. It's a little too orange. I mean, I'm just not used to wearing foundation. I usually just put on concealer under my eyes thank god my skin is not that you know my skin I have fairly good skin I really don't need foundation but I feel like other products it just ties in the look when you have foundation on you know 
you have a heavy eye and you have your blush on you need the foundation um so anyway next i'm going to use i'm not sure if i'm going to use the fenty the suede concealer that i put on my eye or my nars this is a product i use since getting married i'm going to first put on the suede underneath my eyes now the suede underneath the eye for me is more of a natural highlight which i really like for every day so i'm going to see how that looks first I recently bought a beauty blender and I love it. So I'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. Oh, first, I'm sorry. I have espresso. I'm going to put my contour on as well and blend that out at the same time. Uh-oh. Uh, Mark! <laughs> Mark! <laughs> this little baby right here I'm bouncing around he said what you doing mama what you doing why you got why you got tribal paint on your face <laughs> alright come on I'm not done yet So anyway, that was my little baby. Daddy's back there watching. No. Not watching. He's not a babysitter. But he will be leaving soon. So I'm trying to hurry up this video. Because the little baby will need his nap. And then I'm going out to see my mom later. We're heading out to the mall. So yeah, I think that looks good. I've seen girls put concealer down here too. Let's see. Okay. Now I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier setting powder. So anyway, I updated you guys on what's going on in my life. I didn't say, also, if you haven't, follow my Instagram pages. I have my hair page, Paris IN85. I have my family page, Paris in 85 living And I also have my fitness page where I'm documenting how I'm getting back in shape. So far, I lost 60 pounds. I gained 42 pounds in my pregnancy. And I was already overweight. I just came out of just gaining. I gained about 30 pounds before I got pregnant. And I knew that we were going to get pregnant soon. And, and I'm, we were planning on that. Where's the puff? I'm going to use this puff for the puff that came with the smaller one for around my highlight. So yeah, I knew we were going to get pregnant soon, but I just didn't. I just didn't lose the weight. I went up to 196, 98 pounds. So I was trying to lose the weight before. I guess I wasn't trying hard enough. I'm going to use the lighter. Actually, I'm going to put, I'm going to mix the two. I'm going to put the deep concealer underneath and then put the lighter on top just to mix it because I don't want to be I don't want it to be too light I want it to be light though so I want it to pop but yeah um I gained about 30 pounds before I got pregnant and you know the doctors were saying you know watch your weight don't gain anywhere don't gain anywhere between 
11 to 20 pounds because you're already technically in their eyes obese in the obese category I'm 5'7 and so which I had a pretty good pregnancy but I was just you know compared to a lot of people who had horrible pregnancies I'm saying I have a I was blessed I was nauseous every day though and very fatigued mainly probably yeah I was fatigued and I, I wasn't taking my my um I was not taking the prenatal vitamins it made me nauseous even more nauseous I just hate taking pills I hate taking pills so I didn't I didn't do that I puked a couple times um, brushing my teeth and taking those prenatal vitamins but anyway I'm on this journey of trying to get back in shape because I want to have another baby but I just felt I wasn't myself I felt my belly got so big and I will I would like to post my weight loss journey on this channel or maybe I'm going to use the kabuki brush and buff that out you know I didn't put any around my mouth I want to use this elf brush I think it's called a kabuki brush and buff that out Yeah, I wanted to get back in shape before I get pregnant again. Um, I think I, I've done pretty good. And I, that, you know, usually when I'm losing weight, which is sad because I go up and down, I would love to maintain. And I will maintain this time. When I lose weight, I have to work out and eat right at the same time. Like working out inspires me to eat right. But for this weight loss, it's been mainly losing weight by eating right, which I'm not used to. And I haven't had time to really work out. I am a hardcore workout gym rat health nut person. Hark, I love heavy weights, free, um, free weights. I love squatting. I think my highest was like 180, 150 in squats. I love hard weights. And don't women do not be scared of lifting weights thinking you're gonna get too muscular. You know how hard it is for men to gain muscle. A lot of men have to use steroids to get bulky. Don't be scared of getting bulky. Losing weight and lifting weights should go hand in hand because I realize that I am too flabby for my liking. I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, let me put this eyeliner on because I don't want this video to be too long. Now I'll come back. I'm using for the first time Elf's Liquid Midnight Liner. You know, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I put that liner underneath as well. And I'm going to go back into my shadows and put some of the gold shadow in the center. And buff some of the red brick around the outside. I mean, underneath the lower eyelid. So yeah, um, and it's, you know, being married to my husband is a bigger guy. Uh, he has desires to lose weight and he's been up and down as well. But being around, when I was living on my own, I was able to focus and cook and eat the things like my husband is picky. And I, I eat everything, but I'm a health person, a health nut. So it was much easier for me to lose weight when I was on my own. But now that I'm married, it's like I'm trying to hang with my husband. Um, and eat what he eats and it's like sometimes a lot most of the time I'm eating more than what he's eating so you know this time it required a lot of prayer and you know God reminding me you know 
thank God that, you know, God is concerned about every aspect of our lives. And how can we do what he's calling us to do if we're just sluggish and tired all the time? So I feel that me losing weight is just, it's not all about the aesthetics. I mean, yeah, you want to look good, but I need energy. I need energy. I'm putting on their real benefit mascara and i like the tip of this because you can get into the inner corners of your eyes i want to put some on my lower eyelid eyelashes i don't really have any have much but i'm going to try All right, forget that. A little bit. I have a little bit on. So anyway, um, it's funny, you know, laying in bed, and hearing God say, hearing the Holy Spirit say, oh, how's that weight loss going? <laughs> you said you're going to go to the gym at least three times a week. And that was right. That was I heard that before I got pregnant. Because he, you know, was encouraging us to start trying for kids and and we wanted to have kids but it was it was just funny like God has a sense of humor God has a sense of humor and um so anyway down 60 pounds I'm about you know my lowest was 177 but I've been fluctuating up and down like I need to get down to 165 and I feel great at that weight um which is a little bit thicker than what I usually was around 155, but that's just too much information. You, you guys probably don't care about that. But yeah, I need to get, I'm trying to get into the gym. I canceled my membership. I'm a person who had a membership since she was 14 years old. So going without a membership was kind of weird, but I was just giving them my money and I wasn't going, I wasn't working out. So anyway, that's my, my whole spew about trying to lose weight before I get pregnant again or you know, I don't. I wouldn't mind getting pregnant now. My baby is going to be 15 months, and I want my kids to be around two years apart. So that's that. So anyway, I'm going to um, use another Mac product. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's all I really have. Oh, first I gotta put on blush. So I'm going to put my shadows back in this container. Before I break them, they pop right in. So this is a plastic, like a page to protect your shadows. And pop that back in and close that. I have shadows. I mean, I have um, blushes. Like I said, I discovered Sephora after I discovered YouTube. And I see so many, you know, shadows that it just it's cheaper just to buy a palette but i have all these shadows and blushes what's the point but i do realize that there's some good stuff out there that the pigment is awesome so but anyway for my blush i'm going to mix fever fever and format together and i have to just be really light on this because i'm heavy-handed so i'm going to take my mac i don't know it was a holiday brush but it's a fluffy brush and buff that out onto my cheeks. Okay, format. Which has a little sparkle in it. A little highlight in the blush. The camera's not really picking it up. too much oh yeah that fever I thought it was light handed I did practice this on one side of my face last night and it was like ooh that's not bad it's the holidays you can get away with you know rosy berry a lot of rosy berry blush during Christmas right okay um, a new product I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's 
bronze glow as my highlight and I love how like pillowy this feels it's so it's so soft I'm going to use my elf brush it's a highlighting brush right above my cheek down my nose a little bit I'm going to use a fluffy eyeshadow brush and a little bit underneath my eyebrow bone underneath my eyebrows okay lipstick I'm going to use max current to line my lips and I'm going to put um Diva around the outside of my, the outer side of my lips, and then put MAC Red in the center. And I'm going to do an ombre look. What are you guys doing for New Year's? My, I would love, call me crazy, I would love to go to New York for New Year's and watch the ball drop. I know that's crazy because it's pandemonium on that around that time. But I just heard New York is so beautiful around the holidays. And I love to go there. I hate I don't hate snow. I hate the cold. I don't like cold. It has to be like at least 32 degrees for it to snow. Uh, I guess around like freezing for it to snow. If it can stay around that and above, that's fine. But when it gets down to like the teens and 20s, I, I just can't do it. And I live in Metro Detroit area. I live in Michigan. And we have a lot of snow, but not as much as the East Coast has. Okay. And now I'm going to... So yeah, what are you guys... What are you guys... Comment down below. What are you guys doing for New Year's? What are you guys doing for Christmas? What are you guys doing for the holidays? Whatever you celebrate, what are you doing? Comment down below. Diva. And then I'm going to put MAC Red in the center. I have Ruby Woo, but I feel like Ruby Woo has too much of a, I think it's more of like a true red or has a little orange undertone. I'm not sure. But MAC Red has like more of a blue, I guess purple, a blue undertone, which looks better with this look. And I love red for holiday looks. And that really ties it in together. <clears throat> I tried to do my hair and I was trying something new. And once I perfect it, I think I'm going to post the video, of course. But my hair didn't turn out like how I wanted it I'm going back with the, the current pencil yeah I think that's now I'm going to use my this is a product I used when I was getting married I got married on the beach so I wanted to make sure that we got married in Turks and Caicos. I wanted to make sure that the sun was going to melt my makeup off my face. So I have the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray Oil Control. And I'm going to mist my face with that so all the makeup that I put on my face can blend in nicely together and stay on my face. So I'm going to spray and then. I just want to show you guys what my hair looks like first. I'm just going to put it back in a ponytail. Like a 70s hairstyle. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do to my hair. 
Um, like I said, this is a curl former. I keep saying curl former. This is a Flexi Rise set that did not dry. And I'm looking very 1970s, 1970s Donna Summer ish right now. But I'm going to freestyle. I don't know what I'm going to do. So just watch and we'll see. I'm using this for the first time. Main choice. Main choice biotin infused styling gel. Right, guys this is the final look and I just did a, a quick hairdo that I done before I just as you can see I already showed you guys what I quickly did and I added some these are my very first time using these gold bobby pins to add a little bit of um, holiday essence to the look I had these bobby pins for some years now and I never used them so here's this little big huge bun that I made really quickly so I hope you guys enjoyed that get ready with me chit chat makeup quick hairdo look for the holidays I hope you guys enjoy your holiday and if you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me makeup look let me know down below and I will upload more. I may upload like a more natural everyday look and I'll be able to utilize more of the makeup that I have and show you guys what I come up with. So make sure you guys, like I said, subscribe and share this video, like this video and comment and I'll see you guys on the very next one.